I have a Twitter account. What's your handle? You know what? What's your handle? What's your handle? I don't know. You don't have a Twitter account. He does not have a Twitter account. Caught him in a lie. Chris is constantly trying to touch my handle. <laughs> Interventional radiology is doing minimally invasive surgeries using image guidance. We do several procedures through small incisions. We keep patients out of the hospital and get them home as quickly as possible. Welcome back to the vlog, guys. We are at SIR in beautiful downtown Los Angeles. What's SIR? Society of Interventional Radiology. That is awesome. I care about our subscribers. That's right, exactly. So SIR, Society of Interventional Radiology, it's basically a huge conference in North America. People from all around the world that come to share their ideas and we get to see all the latest and greatest in, in techniques and new equipment from the from the different companies. We have no disclaimers. We're not paid by any of the companies, so whatever you see, it's it's just because it's part of the conference. So I've also decided since we're here in LA, I, I think this is a good time for me to focus a little more on work-life balance. I find that I'm, I'm going to work in the morning early and I'm at work late and I haven't really taken time to be healthy myself. Is this a transformation? <laughs> this is a transformation. <laughs> Don't ever touch me like that again, <laughs> ever, like never again. I think you could probably agree with me that physicians in a lot of cases are the, do the worst job taking care of themselves, they're the yeah. worst patients, but we're, we're human beings too. You know, and, that, and that's actually a nice segue into why we decided to do this vlog, and that's because we kind of wanted to show our patients and patients around the world that physicians can be approachable and personable and normal people. The other thing too that we, like, we never talk about because as physicians you're not supposed to talk about it, but the job's a stressful job. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not an easy job, and, and I think that in a lot of cases we carry the weight of the world in what we do. If something goes wrong in a case, it's really stressful, you know, we, you never want to hurt somebody. We're here yeah. to help. And, and so I think there's a mental health aspect of it as well. So I think yep. being away from our job and the rigors of the job, being somewhere like here gives you a chance to kind of evaluate your life and, and how you do things. And I think for us to be great at what we do, you got to take care of yourself too. Yeah, so. I agree 100%. Hey, look, it's John, Ch John Chung, come here. The oh, John Chung? This is the John Chung. He knows all about John Chung because of, because of you? me talking about how he was like my lifeline during uh, fellowship. Uh, amazing dude. I'm excited to, to hear more about uh, Chris in fellowship. We're kind of touching on the work-life balance. It's, it's a tough job. What are some of the things that you focus on or some of the things that you do to kind of re-energize and regroup to have that life outside of the hospital? I just try to do things when I have free time and I'm not tired. But it's tough, you're right. The work-life balance is a tough challenge. For me, IR is not just a means to an end, it's, it's a big part of who I am. It's a lifestyle. Right? Yeah. One of the things that has always weighed on me is that the expectations for us as physicians, the expectation is perfection. You just and gotta I think do it's, the best that you can. It, it's tough, and I think that weighs on me personally sometimes, that the expectation is perfection, but we're just, we just do the best we can do. I think if you can <clears> keep <throat> that as your end game, you get a better conscience. If you're always chasing perfection, it's, it can weigh on you a lot harder. Balance-wise, gotta have some hobbies outside of work. Uh, I like eating. It's pretty good. Sleeping. It's another good yeah, hobby. Yeah, I think it shows that I like <laughs> eating. I enjoy the outdoors. So skiing, uh, hiking, water sports. And all that's yeah. right there in Vancouver. Exactly. So if I get out early and it's a summer day, I can go and paddleboard for a couple hours. So we're gonna go check the conference out and uh, we'll check back in later. I feel like with this big, this big drink, Chris, I'm like going to the movies or something. This is Penumbra oh. Camille. You're on the vlog, by the way. Really? Yeah. Are you okay with that? <laughs> no, now I'm getting nervous. What do I say? What do I hand? Hand? What do I do with my hands? <laughs> what is this contraption? It's it looks a like a flow model for an aneurysm. This is a this is a very interesting contraption. It's just like all the vessels yeah. in one. Yeah. So we're at the striker booth here. They've actually got this really cool cadaveric uh, specimen that they use for practicing rhizotomies, which is the procedure we did the other day. So they basically made a gel mold for all the soft tissue so you can see the skeleton. You can see actually here, these needles look familiar, right? And essentially what we're doing is going and using x-ray to visualize the bones. And we're taking the, the angle here and we're pointing it right towards the location there. And the object is these little joints right here, you can see can have arthritis. We're actually burning the, the nerves that innervate them. Can you see me down here? <laughs> so this is how I prefer to place my needles, just put my face on the patient. That's great. But it's a cool demonstration, yeah. Raven? 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 Yes. Nice to meet you. Raven Miller. Nice, nice to meet you. Hi, John Marshall. Nice to meet Hi, you. I'm Becky. Hey, how are you? This is Raven. She works uh, here at Medtronic. I'm the U.S. Director of Marketing. Is there a reason why you hug the uh, thin, handsome, much younger? You know what, so I've already or... seen you all doing this, is, and is I'm there, not going to do that is today. There a <laughs> Yeah. Nice. So I'm in Minneapolis, Minnesota. My oh. last college hockey game was in 
Minneapolis, St. Paul. You know, he was the uh, four-time team captain of Niagara University's hockey team. He won't say that because he's so modest, but I'll brag for him. I mean, with so a, are you with, still with a bot, with a body like much, this? I was much younger. <laughs> Don't ever touch me again. Ever. <laughs> Can't keep his hands off. Are you all vlogging, SIR? We yes. are. No one knows what vlogging is. So we were having, <laughs> so we were having lunch. There, there were must a line be some of little, like, nine to twelve-year-old girls. Okay. We're having lunch. Chris and Becky and I, and some celebrity came through here. I don't know who it was, but these young people down there, and they freaked out. Well, Becky said, I bet she was a vlogger. So I said, I got an idea. Why don't we test it? Let's let's check what Chris and I's popularity is like now. It was more of a joke, because I knew okay. no one would recognize us. Let's go walk by and see what happens. Let's do it. Watch this reaction. It's going to be incredible. Chris Chris came with me, and he had the camera. I've got this camera here. People are going to think that we're a big deal. Let's see what happens. I hope everybody takes it easy. Yeah, because it's going to be too much for security to handle. Who's the fat white guy with the handsome Asian? <laughs> I don't know, man. Well, a lot of reaction right here. We need, we need to warm up first. There's, there's not a lot of reaction here. <laughs> and some of the little girls in the crowd said, those are vloggers. And they, no, they did not. Yeah, they did, yeah. So no, are you serious? Yeah. I heard vloggers. <laughs> You're on the vlog. You're on the vlog. They're all cheering. <laughs> that is hysterical. That is the future. <laughs> there we go. We got that. We got that. Hey, guys. That. Where's our sign? <laughs> we did it. <laughs> you walk by a kid with a camera and a fuzzy microphone, and they're like, oh, they know exactly what it is. They, that went way better than I thought. <laughs> oh my god, they could be, they could be somebody. Let's all cheer. Listen, I don't, I don't kid myself. We need subs. Yeah, we do. We need subs, yeah. <laughs> they saw you, they got excited about you, and they saw me, and they're like, oh, I don't I don't want to watch my dad's vlog. It's well, the future. you know, it's the future. I think so too. It was tough for me because I had to explain to Chris what a vlog was. No, oh, you get didn't. The get, okay. get the hell out. No, no, get out of here. Get out of here. Hi, everyone out there in Vlogland. I have some friends from Medtronic that I want to introduce you. We have Christina Hyatt. Hi. Angela is also uh, on our marketing team. This is our version of Superman. This is Kim Bassett. Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hey, great to meet you. Pleasure. Yes, I know. Hi. So one of the ways that we can treat liver tumors is something called Y90 or radioembolization. And basically, we use small little hollow tubes called catheters and wires to navigate through the arteries in the body to the arteries that supply the tumor, and then we basically inject the particles that are radioactive directly into the tumor. And it's uh, one of the many ways we can treat uh, liver cancer. A lot of people wonder how we do that, and how do you navigate through the arteries? Well, these are the tools we use. We use guide wires, and we use catheters. We're gonna let Becky the filmer try her hand at interventional radiology. I hope she's not successful because then everybody's gonna think like, ah, oh, interventional so radiology, anybody can do it. I hope she blows it. No pressure, Becky. The company that's running this is called Surefire and they make these catheters that uh, are anti-reflux devices. So when the catheter is basically inside a hollow tube, the concern is that if you inject particles that are radioactive and they block off all the blood vessels, then the particles might reflux back and travel backwards and affect other parts of the liver you don't want to because you don't want to expose uh, healthy parts to the liver to radiation. So what they've got is a anti-reflux device. It opposes the walls of the artery and prevents the particles from, from refluxing back. So this is the model here that we've got. It's based on real blood vessels. It's a real aorta. Becky is going to try to navigate. She's going to use these same tools that we use and she's going to try to navigate up into the blood vessel that we're, she's trying to get to and into this one that supplies the tumor. She's going to deploy the Surefire. That is her mission and she has to do it with less than 30 minutes of fluoro time. Oh wait, we're not using fluoro time. I'm going to rock tissue watch. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, great. great job, Becky. Great job so far. And you're going to want to Great job. You're going to want to keep pushing it down. You're doing great. There it goes, Becky. You're getting there. Are right you leading there. without a wire? Yeah, leading without a wire. No wire. Now Common iliac just got dissected, by the way. No flow down the right leg right now, but that's okay. We're getting there. Oh. Becky, right, just so you know right now, the patient is screaming in pain. You keep going. Now, once you get the wire up, Becky, you can feed the catheter over the wire. You can get it closer. So nope. now, push, yeah, leave keep the going. Wire. You're doing fine. Leave You're doing great. Okay. On a scale of one to a July fellow, how's she doing? <laughs> she's um, she's still an undergrad. Becky, you can't look like that. <laughs> Becky, no. Uh, this is really hard. <laughs> we should. We gotta add like three minutes to that at least. A little <laughs> three minutes. <laughs> okay, Becky, you gotta use this. Right hand like this. Yeah. Left hand like this. Like this. Just pull my wire. Are you <laughs> oh, pull the wire. You're down the GDA right now. You need to go back into the paddocks. Oh, Becky. Okay. Okay. Go so pin here and push this in and hold your wire. Ah, my foot. Ah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> your 
You can't stand to patience. Terrible bedside manner. My right foot is killing me. Ah, oh, my foot. Stop moving. Ow. Patience move, Becky. This is real life. Patience move. See, look. Your base catheter's kicking back. You're about to lose access. My leg hurts. Ow. Marshall? You're not getting your Y90 dose in now, but that's okay. Let's keep going for the sake of... Uh, <laughs> Let her, let, yeah, let her do that. Yeah. What do I do? Which hand do I do it with? Oh, you're, you're good. Okay. Three minutes plus 25. Chris, I'm going to film you doing it now, okay? Let's compare. Let me know when you're ready. Ready, yeah, Becky? Let's do it, let's ready. Do it. Go. Oh, that's no wire. <laughs> oh, full dose, full dose. <laughs> So 14 years of post-secondary education means a one minute, 10 second difference. <laughs> all right, you're up. We'll let somebody else try. You're the most senior out of all of us. <laughs> that was so hurtful. That She's so hurtful. hurtful. She's really, hurtful. she says really nasty things. All I'm hearing is excuses. Ready? Go. No laterals. Increased dose. Just scraped off a ton of black on that one. Showering emboli to both legs. Sub one minute. Thank you. Oh, Look at him. Love you all. Thank you. Look at him. Yeah, right. I am the older one, Becky. You're right. I am. He lucked into the celiac selection. By the way, both uh, of you patients, you'll have a choice between him or I when you make appointments to come see us. Thank both you. of you lucked into the celiac selection. <laughs> hey, John, do you know what this is? Yes, I do. It's clearly a device to sin. <laughs> what is it? He doesn't know what it is, he doesn't know what it is! We're here at SIR. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Again, a little bit different. No cases this time. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the episode. I'm Dr. Chris. And I'm Dr. John. And we'll see you in the next case.